Hey, what's up, guys? It's Card Shuffler 99 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool card trick. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to enter into our giveaway. If you want to enter to win $200 of Amazon gift cards, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, let us know in the comment section what are your summer 2019 goals, and make sure you guys have your post notifications turned on. If you guys want to get in contact with us anyway, you can always check our email down below, email us there, or we do have an Instagram. If you guys want to follow us there, you guys can DM us as well. It's cs99.yt. Uh, we do have all that information down in the description section below as well as all the information for the giveaway as well So I hope you guys enjoy this video Don't forget if you guys want to purchase anything through Amazon use our Amazon affiliate link down in the description uh, We do have that plugged right there as well. And anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this trick It's a really really good one and let's get straight to it and we're going to get into the trick here so over here we have the one two Queens and we're gonna set them down right there and leave them there for the rest of the trick. So Adam, I want you to select any card you would like. doesn't matter, take it out. Perfect, show the camera, make sure they can see. And we'll just place your card somewhere into the center of the deck, just like that. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something a little different. We're actually going to use the Queens to help find your card. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna give her fingers. A little snap. Did you see that, Adam? Well, you can actually see here that we can actually get one card to appear in between the queens. And Adam, what was your card? The three of spades. The three of spades actually appears in between the two queens. We'll take your three of spades, place it somewhere into the middle, push it in, just like that. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the queens one more time, and we're going to give them a little shake. Can actually show you one card appears again in between the in between the queens your card the three of spades that is the trick guys and let's learn how to do this so what you guys are going to need is there is no setup for this trick so you just grab any two cards you want um doesn't matter what two cards you do grab um i like to do the aces queens kings anything along those lines and there is no setup for this trick. The deck can be shuffled like that. Um, in any way, you can give the cards to the spectator first. And yeah, that's how the trick can start. Now, there is something, um, you, you will have to either place these queens down on a table where it's safe, or you're gonna have to ask the spectator to hold onto them tightly in between the fingers like that because there's gonna be a card in between them. So how, how is this gonna, how you're gonna start with the trick is you're gonna get, grab a break under the top card. So just push off and get a break. So you're gonna push the top card off with your thumb. With your pinky, you're just gonna grab a break like that and you're gonna get yourself a pinky break. So from here, you have your break. You're gonna take the two queens here and you're going to square them up right above, above the break. So square them up. And you're going to lift up all three cards. So, so what you're going to do is you have the break, you square it up, and you're going to lift all three cards. Now, this is before you even have them select a card. So, this card right here is just going to be a random card. So, one more time, you have a break under this random top card, whatever it is, after the deck is completely shuffled. You're going to square all the cards up, and you're going to lift up at the break. So, you have three cards. You're going to take peel off the top queen. Make sure you just have a break there. It'll be easier to lift off. And then you're just going to place this next queen on top of it. Now, if you want, you can just place these queens down like this. And just be careful because there is a card behind that queen. So you just want to make sure everything is squared up. Or you can just square it up completely, place it down. And the last option is, if you want to, you can give the queen to the spectator. And say, please hold out your thumb and just... Push down on the cards like that, and that will usually work. I would rather have them, if you have to have, like there's no table around you, you can either um have them hold it like that, so that way the queens, like the card won't flash. Um, But really the safest way is just to have it on the table, squared up like that. So basically you have a random card in between the two queens, like that. So it's a random card, and you're going to have that off to the side. Now, if you want the deck to be shuffled one more time, it doesn't really matter. 
but you're going to have them select a card here and you're going to control this card to the top of the deck so you can use any control you would like um i use the herman pass or the turnover pass so basically what, what that is is you have them select a card the three diamonds you hold a break above that card and what you're going to do is you're just going to take the cards and you're going to push them out from under and then you're going to turn these cards over and that controls the card to the top i'm not going to go into too much detail about this but you get a break above the card you're going to pull down with your pinky so you're pulling down with your pinky and you're going to turn these cards over on top of that half and you just place them down like that and then go back to the queens so any way you want you can control the card if you don't know how to do that um just simply place the card in and you're just going to push down get a break what you can do is you can simply just lift off a few cards above the break place them down take the rest of the cards above the break place them down and once you get to the break which is the card they selected you're just going to place the rest of the cards on top and that will simply control their card on top so really any way you want so just push to get a break you're going to cut half the cards above the break then you're going to cut the rest of the cards above the break place the rest of the cards on top and what that does simply controls their card to the top of the deck which is what you need so from here you can do any magical move you want and you're going to, and you're going to get their card to appear in between the two queens now clearly their card is right here now what you're going to do is you're not going to let them look at the card yet in between the queens what you're going to do is first you show them you can you can like wave you know spread them out go like that and you're going to get a break under the top card so just push this card over and simply get a break so wrist kill push over put your pinky in there get a break and you're going to put all three cards up against um your hand and you're going to square them up like this so and you're going to lift up on the break so what this does is you have this you have their selection on the bottom a queen a random card that's just face down and another queen so what you're going to do is you're going to lift up on all four cards and you're going to peel off the top the top queen then after you peel off the top queen i like to hold a break under that you're going to show this card do not show this card for too long or else they're going to piece this together so you're showing this card and it really looks like their card is in between the two queens but here's the thing you're not actually showing this face down card here you're just showing the bottom card so you don't want to show it for too long let everyone see it and then peel this off and then show the last queen it's just a quick glance let them see it's their card was this your card yes and you're going to peel off this top card and you're going to leave it out jogged so from here you're going to place this last queen on top and be very careful with it because it is two cards and it's their selection so you're going to square it up carefully you're going to take you're going to say we're going to take your selection and really it's not their selection their selection is right here and what you're going to do is you're going to take it out place it somewhere into the middle do not show their selection and you're going to push it into the middle like that so from here you have many options of how you can reveal it um what i like to do is i like to just give it a little shake and i can show it one more time like that and you can get their selection to appear in between the two queens so i'm going to go through that one one last time um there are other sandwich routines or other things you can add so basically you have this random card in between the queens you're going to get a break under this card you're going to show the random the the card in between the queens square everything up from here you're going to lift up on all four cards under the break take off the first queen maintain a break show the card for a brief second not too long then you're going to peel it off leave it out jogged and then you're going to take this queen place it there and then from there you're going to take this card put it in the middle make sure you do not flash push it in and then from there you can do it again and snap your fingers and show their card appears in between the two queens now you might be asking like what's another thing you can add to this routine um for example if you took their card and let's say you um controlled it to the bottom of the deck so give it a few cuts and you controlled it to the bottom of the deck like that what you can do is you can put one queen on top and you can put one queen on the bottom 
and then you can put all your fingers on the, their card, and when you throw the, the deck over, what's going to happen is, if you leave your fingers on this card, this card will actually stay with you, so when you throw the deck over, one card actually gets trapped in between the queens, and will happen to be their card one more time. So that's another thing you can add. You can add whatever you want to the routine. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this card shuffler. 99. Peace out.